Let's get to the next band, shall we? It's the Devious Means. Yeah. Son of a... <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> no more interview. I my, told you. My New Year's resolution is to improve on my beauty even more than it is, which shall be challenging because I'm already at a, like an upper <laughs> tier of gorgeousness. Um, and that kind of a thing for me is really what I'm aspiring to. And as the lead front man, rock god of the band, I just kind of feel like uh, it's just what I owe to my fans, to my family. On a, on a different note, we are excited to uh, start a new record, uh, hopefully full length. We're looking at starting actually at the end of this month, and um, the starting group, recording, it, starting or? recording, yeah. brand new record. And so that would be a resolution for us: is that before the year's over, you'll have a Devious Means full length to play and enjoy. Because I know that like I went out to play a great show, and um, and I hope that I conveyed how much I love these songs every with every song I play, which is why I run out of breath in the middle of a song because. Cyrus. Yeah. Artist or tramp? Ooh. It's hard to speak too ill of someone who, how old is she? 19, 20? Um, you want to give her another couple years? Hey, Wrecking Ball is a good song. Great song. Who you are. Yeah. I, I don't, don't know her song. personally. And all five people that wrote it. <laughs> good job. <laughs> I don't know her personally, so I, I can't say I know either, but her music does not appeal to my taste. Next I'm glad question. she stayed warm at the New Year's Eve. Times Square with that huge mink, whatever yeah. that was. <clears throat> Felt bad for me. She really foxes, takes it. But she's selling something. She's really taking care of herself. I think. I think the bigger. I think the bigger question is uh, why is she so popular? Anyone who yeah, sells a, millions of records is doing something right with marketing. The Oatmeal picked up on this, and they have a, a great cartoon, How to Refurbish a Dying rock, a dying Teen Idol, or something like that. You can check it out on The Oatmeal, and it's just priceless. It, it sums it up pretty well. I think Sifion Stevens' open letter to Miley Cyrus is one of the most amazing things, because he really goes after her grammar, and how she really needs to improve upon the way that she expresses herself. And for me, that's... I hope I never get an open letter from Sifion Stevens about my grammar, you know what I mean? Like that's Yeah, for example, it's bangers with an S, not a Z. Right? It's yeah. True. I think that part's obvious to yeah. everybody here. Ridiculous. Yeah. OC Music Awards was about tonight was Nicolas Cage that this would be about the Wicker Man and you know I know he's doing the Left Behind movie right now and just real classics of cinema that we revere him. We, we do have signed copies of the Declaration of Independence. I mean, we signed them in honor of Nick Cage to right. give out to his <laughs> and fans. And I thought, yeah. We read one before each rehearsal. I thought it was the only Cage movie awards tonight. Yeah. But it wasn't. Blew my mind. Yeah. It wasn't the only Cage movie awards. Really weird. I didn't realize that. It's probably a secret. I think it's hard when someone says what kind of genre of music because indie. If someone says indie, well, it's, it's pretty broad so spectrum. broad. It doesn't. Yeah. It, yeah. And Ever um, sharpen the magnetic zeros is indie, and the white stripes are indie. Like. Yeah. What and is then that? there's gospel music that's indie. Right. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't make any sense. So you can't. You can't really say that. But um, 
I kind of like the fact that someone can go, oh, you guys sound exactly like those guys. You sound exactly like those guys. Because if there's someone else who you sound exactly like, and they already made it, and they're big, then why is anyone going to listen to you? You know? So I think we have enough of a unique spin, but we're still approachable and accessible, and our music makes sense to people, and at the end of the day, they like it. Um, Every day? I shake my rum. I do. That's how Monday I through Friday. keep my marriage alive. Monday That's how Friday. I keep it healthy. Eight to three. Really just energetic. Yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. question. Hi ho, hi ho, it's off the So we've done like Ting Tings and Johnny Cash and um, what's the Don't You Want Me Baby? Uh, Culture hu Club? Human, no, no, League. No. Human League. Human League. Uh, yeah. Can you do your Ting Tings acapella for us to wrap it up? Uh, no, no, right. I can, <laughs> I can do it as though I'm, I'm lecturing students. They call me Hell. They call me Stacy. They call me Her? They call me Jane. But that's not my name. No. That's not my name. No. That's not. My name. No, it's your name. Thank you. <laughs>